Hey everyone, today we're going to do a quick run through on how to package your game when you're finished building it for to test with your friends or just to test everything I guess as a final build before you ship it. So the first thing I like to do is I like to make a folder on desktop. I'm just going to call it your game folder. Then what I like to do is I like to go to build and do a map check and just check in here to see if there's anything that will prevent my file from building correctly. Then there's a couple of settings that I like to go through to make sure they're on so that when my final build happens it's not like a hundred gigabytes because it doesn't include everything in my project. I've had that happen with a couple of projects and it just makes a, a massive file that you really can't work with so I'll just show you the settings that I like to use. Uh, the first thing here, this is where you edit things like your project name, you can put your home page in here, support. This is what's going to be displayed on the top of the window when people launch your test build. So in here the settings that you want to go to is what I type is packaging. Or just pack. And the three settings that you want to look for are cook only maps create compressed cook packages and exclude editor content when cooking. These are the three big ones. And also down here you'll see your list of maps to include when it does the final build. So what you want to do is add in all of your maps that you know are going to be used in your level or in your game when you do your final build. So I have my main map which loads right away, the lobby, I have the travel map, and I have all three of my maps that are included. So you want to make sure you use these three settings and include all your maps in the list. This will stop the project from building every single file that's in your content browser because as you guys know the more assets you add in the bigger your file gets and you don't want everything included in there. So they're the big ones. So then all you have to do is you go to file, package product or project story then go down to build configuration and make sure you're in development because this is for a developer build so you can test with your friends you can do a little trial on steam with each other then you go to windows 64 bit and then you select your game folder that's the one you created on desktop and you just click package then what i like to do is click on show output log here you can kind of watch the progress as this builds and what you're looking for is anything that's in red there that's going to stop this from packaging. So when this finish, finishes you should get like a package successful. Sometimes you'll get a package failed. If you get a package failed don't panic. Chances are you just look through this log, find whatever's in red there, highlight it and Google it and you'll probably find the, the answer for it. If you guys have a lot of trouble you can join us on our Discord server and We'll give you a hand to find out what's causing the issue. So once this packages, shouldn't take much longer, I'm just going to let mine package. Once this packages, it's going to output a file into that folder on desktop that you created. And that's going to be your final build that you guys can try with your friends and stuff. Another quick thing I'm going to go through with this is I'm using this zombie survival template and a couple of people asked me how to turn off the developer mode so I'm going to show you what that looks like in here when you push the Q letter it shows developer mode kind of shows all the different things that are going on in your game there as well as your bullet traces so a quick way to turn that off is you go into your HGT folder you go into your characters your base character third person character and in here you're looking for, I believe it's the debug, debugging I think it is, it's right here, yes. So if you go to your event graph, here's where you push Q, and here's where it says developer mode active or deactive. So if you just want to take away where it says developer mode, activate it and deactivate it, you could just travel right across here and unplug these two pins. That'll get rid of that print string all together there. So that'll stop it from appearing in the left hand corner. 
If you want to get rid of this option altogether, all you have to do is disconnect this queue altogether so it doesn't do anything. That's a quick way of disabling it. That way when they push Q, it doesn't do anything. The developer mode is completely gone. And it's there just to reconnect later on if you really want to. So once our project is completely packaged, you can have your game folder on desktop. You'll have this Windows No Editor. And mine's called Tutorials, so you double click that and that'll launch your game. Which will also be recognized by Steam down here in the corner and you'll be able to try it with your friends. Hope this helped you guys out. Just a quick, easy tutorial on how to package your product and get it up and running as quickly as possible. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Join us on Discord and have a great day.